The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra has just surfaced on Geekbench, giving us the very first look at its raw performance numbers, and the results are nothing short of impressive. According to the benchmark listing, the Galaxy S26 Ultra with model number SMF's 938N, running Android 15 and a Linux 6.6 .6 kernel, delivered a single-core score of 3,330 and a multi-core score of 10,452. These numbers place it among the most powerful Android devices we've seen to date. For context, this marks a major leap compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it even pushes closer to Apple's A-series chip performance. A single core score above 3,300 indicates blazing fast responsiveness, while a multi-core score over 10,000 highlights just how much power Samsung is packing into its upcoming flagship. The benchmark also confirms that the device will ship with Android 15 out of the box, aligning perfectly with Samsung's software rollout timeline for 2026. This matches earlier leaks suggesting that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will be one of the first devices optimized for One UI 8.5. If these numbers hold true in the final retail version, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could become one of the fastest smartphones on the market, raising the bar for both Android and iOS rivals. What do you think about these early results? Is Samsung finally catching up, or even surpassing Apple, in raw performance? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. The leaks and rumors surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra are quickly building up, and a new report may have revealed the display size of the upcoming flagship, while also hinting at a few potential surprises. Renowned tipster Ice Universe has stated that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature a 6.89-inch screen nearly identical to the panel used in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. In another post, ICE added that the screen will include surprises, incorporating some of Samsung's core display technologies into this model. ICE Universe also shared images of third-party camera protective films for the Galaxy S26 Edge, Galaxy S26 Pro, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. These images offer a clearer look at the expected camera design changes across the lineup. All three devices appear to feature a visible camera bump, which may be an intentional design adjustment to help reduce the overall foam thickness. While the screen size itself seems unchanged, the same source suggests Samsung could still introduce enhancements thanks to its in-house display innovations. This means that even with similar dimensions, meaningful upgrades might still be on the way. This report slightly conflicts with earlier claims that the Galaxy S26 Ultra would feature slimmer bezels, allowing for a larger display within the same overall frame. However, it's also possible that both the bezel size and the device footprint could be reduced. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about one of the hottest topics surrounding the Galaxy S26 Ultra, the fate of the S Pen. Now there's been a lot of confusion and rumors floating around, but here's what we know so far. According to tipster Taran Vats, the S26 Ultra is getting a redesigned S Pen with Bluetooth support. The catch? It may not include every feature that we saw on the Galaxy S24 Ultra's S Pen. Meanwhile, tipster Bennett Pro claims Samsung is testing multiple prototypes, some with an S Pen slot and some without. That, of course, raised alarms for fans who thought Samsung might ditch the S Pen altogether. But then we got stronger evidence on the other side. Ice Universe shared an image that clearly shows an S Pen slot and Tipster CID backed this up, saying the S26 Ultra will indeed keep the built-in S Pen. Even Sam Lover Blog has confirmed Samsung isn't walking away from its iconic stylus anytime soon. In fact, one of the leaked images highlights the S Pen chamber, giving fans even more reassurance. So for now, it looks like the S Pen is here to stay, at least with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. But here's my question to you. Should Samsung keep the S Pen as a defining Ultra feature or do you think it's time for them to move on and focus on other upgrades? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. 
The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12 megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4900 mAh unit with 45 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the